what was your guys' reaction when you saw uh, all time James Harden? This is as good as it. This is the best highlight we will get for the rest of James Harden's career. This is an all time yes. James Harden performance. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. It is. It's, it's, it's like the coolest shit James Hart ever did. That man went to China bright and early in the morning and told some kids his boss wasn't shit and he was not fucking with it. Like I, that's cool as hell, bro. But um, the thing is, you know, like we were talking in the group chat, bro, this 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 felt like um something that he and his team agreed to and rehearsed and possibly coordinated. You saw that man come out there with the Obama hands. Let me repeat. <laughs> Let me repeat. It's like he was a I, teleprompter I will be no in front part, of him. You know what I'm saying? I will be no part of a team that Daryl Morey is a part of. He is a liar, right? Like, it, it for sure felt like something He did that it in was, sign you know, language, too, my yeah, nigga. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> it for sure felt like something that was rehearsed and coordinated. And this is not at all to say Harden is a puppet. I'm sure Harden probably feels that way about him. You know what I mean? But this is something that his team agreed on him going out there with. And then we saw the, the whole agent coming out and saying, you know, I don't ride with that. Of course you do. Like that's just some shit you got to say to let the teams who are interested in him know. You know, you're not gonna send a dickhead over there who will talk shit about the the front office publicly, right? Like you got to you got to paint this as hard and going rogue, even though we all know it was coordinated, right? But um, I'm just curious, what exactly did he lie to? Because this, I feel like there's so much shit in whatever handshake agreement that they had. That, that like, where did he go wrong? Did he go wrong in not getting you out of there? Or uh, did he agree to max you out? You know, um, this coming year, you, you, you know, when, when your contract was up, when when you, when you had the option, I just want to know what he lied about. Did he lie about trading hard or did he lie about cashing hard out? I'm leaning towards the latter because I think if someone's fucking with your money, that's when you go public like like Harden did with that shit. Yeah, I, 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 didn't didn't he didn't he get signed for the cheap too? He took like a little pay cut yeah, at yeah, one he, point he, as well. He, he, he took a cut. They said you know um, a 15 million pay cut that went to fucking uh, PJ Tucker. Right, right, right. Um, you, you know someone else that they picked up. I forget, but yeah. But yeah, that was that was what basically what what we knew the handshake agreement was. You take a pay cut here, we'll get you some help. We'll and yeah. if you if if you want out next year, we'll trade you or we'll cash you out next year, right? Like this is not going to be some two multi year shit where you you're, you're you're working for us for the cheap. So yeah, th- like I said, I'm just curious. Did he lie about getting that man out of there, or did he lie about cashing that man out? Because I'm thinking it's the cashing him out part. The new movie Gran Turismo is based on the unbelievable true story of a team of unlikely underdogs, a struggling working class gamer, a failed former race car driver, and an idealistic motorsport executive. Together, they risk it all to take on the most elite sport in the world. Directed by Neil Blumkamp, the movie features an incredible cast led by David Harbour alongside Orlando Bloom, Jaiman Hansu, Jerry Hollowell Horner, and Archie Medeque as Jan Martinborough. Some of the most famous racing competitions in the world are recreated through the use of actual Nissan GTs, drones, and practical effects. The racing sequences are so realistic that the real-life Yan Martinborough himself actually served as the stunt driver for the film. This is a movie that needs to be seen on the big screen. Gran Turismo is an inspiring, thrilling, and action-packed story that proves that nothing is impossible when you're fueled from within. Gran Turismo, based on a true story, is exclusively in movie theaters this August 25th with special sneak previews this weekend. Get your tickets today. Ready? To PG-13. It had to be money because the way him and Daryl Morey have been like best buds for so long, you know what I mean? Like following him all over the place. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like he was, that's his favorite basketball player ever. It seemed like James Harden was, you know what I mean? So it had to be money. That's the only thing I could think could get in the way of that. Where like he fucked him over on some money. And I do understand if he doesn't want to pay him what James Harden thinks he's worth. But if you had a handshake agreement, you know, like, hey, <laughs> go in front of the ops. <laughs> Say my name. And that's not mobs. I'm not saying like I'm anti, you know, I'm not moving like that. I'm just saying. But like, you know, that, you know, Daryl Morey's name doesn't really, you know, isn't really loved over there. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I get why he would do it if it was bread for show, for show. I, I like the idea of James Harden's agent saying he's not okay with, like, you know, like Tyler said, he's distancing himself from the tactic. It's like being Donald Trump's lawyer and saying you don't like fuck with being treasonous. You know what I mean? Right. It's like you signed the like this is the guy who like we will refer to this kind of move as pulling a heart in for a hundred years. Like yes. <laughs> he had his moment right there. Right. <laughs> which, which yeah, like and and the whole thing is, bro, if you're gonna get into a stare off with Daryl Morey, like uh, I don't it seems know. Seems like man. a starer. 
He just seems yeah, like a he, guy he's, stare, he's, a, he's for you know? sure a stare. <laughs> he's, he's a Zuckerberg stare <laughs> when, when it's time to stare. But um, yeah, I, I I mean, we saw how he stood ten toes down with with Ben Simmons. We thought he was a fucking idiot. We thought that he was overestimating, you know, the the, the return he would get back from. We thought that it, it was dumb as hell for them to just you know not just trade him for a, a, a throwaway deal where you you know relieve cap and get some picks or whatever. We called that man a fool. We called him ridiculous. We called him stubborn. And he turned Bill Simmons into James Harden. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so yeah. And, and and he went on record saying, bro, we I will I will fucking stand 10 toes down during this whole standoff during Ben Simmons' whole contract with us. I will do this for four years. He said that publicly. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. I mean, look, I know Harden and Maury, y- y'all were BFS. Like, you know, I called y'all the pinky in the brain <laughs> of the NBA and shit. But I mean, I think it's legit bad blood. And I think if Harden thinks he's going to win a stay off with Maury, bro, we're going to be in for a ride. It's going to be an interesting dickhead contest. You know, like I, I I can't wait to see how that goes. That's that actually was my my next question. Let's do a little choose your own adventure. I mean, like <laughs> ha, like like Harden is also a generational stare down guy in this kind of a thing. So, like, do you think he's going to show up to camp 90 pounds overweight like people are suggesting? Do you think he's just going to be super reckless with comments he's making? Like, how far do you think he can push it on his side? Yeah. Um, I don't think he's going to sit out. Right. Um, Somebody smarter than me who knows how the fucking, you know, contracts work pointed out that he he possibly fuck up his, you know, free agency um, 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 ceiling if he if he like <laughs> if, if he sits out this season. So the co- the contract, the CBA with the NBA would make it very punitive to him if he's if he healthy sits out on a contract. Now, right. how far does that get pushed if he's nursing a a small injury you know what i mean like there's some i think gray area there but if he's just a healthy sit yeah financially there's almost no way i can see him doing that i can see his knee hurting quote unquote you know Mm -hmm. what i mean and that dragging out for a long time but yeah 300 390 racks a game he would lose if he healthily sat out right I mean, if not doing, not, a, do, not, not doing not, that, not doing that, <laughs> not doing that. <laughs> also, I feel like you know that is coming in out of shape, not playing well. I don't. That, I mean, not you know, not being you know James Harden doesn't help him in any way. You feel me? Like maybe talking his shit. I think that's the only real option. Is like, yo, I'm not happy here. Something needs to happen um, to change that. But I just, I see, I, I think like you're not missing on four hundred thousand dollars. You're not making yourself look like untradeable if you want to get traded. You feel me? So, I mean... Yeah, maybe. But also, making a ruckus doesn't really help you much either, man. He's kind of, yeah. you know... I mean, the contract's yeah. a contract. And yeah. he's, he's like, you know, I mean, that that is... And, and that's what they... They're going to enforce that. Obviously, we've seen over the last 12 months, owners are very concerned with precedents being set. It is interesting to me with Dame and Harden, you know, because the Sixers put out through woes, they're not going to trade him. And I just made the comment, like, for two generations like you know we had these big trades and guys demanding to be traded teams complying and it feels like not trading guys is the new trading guys like the new like the new big announcement is like nah <laughs> he's gonna play here lebron this james is still in the lakers like bro we don't we don't you know what i'm saying like it, it's, it gets annoying at a point but I, I mean maybe it's a trading tyler like maybe he's not because it happened right after he said he doesn't want to get traded I mean, he says it happened right after more. Uh, the, the Sixers said they weren't going to trade him, and then he and then that statement drops. Well, he, well, me? yeah. Um, well, well, the whole thing is the agree the the you know the agreement was once he gets traded, he's going to agree to max out with the team that traded for him. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, 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 so the whole money is still in, in money the equation is, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 